fellow Ghanaians, how can we move away from economic slavery? I believe this question has agitated the minds of many Ghanaians for a long time. The answer is simple. We must deny NDC and MPP the presidency of Ghana in 2020 elections. For the benefit of those who might not know me, I like to introduce myself a little bit. My name is Samuel Oforiampofo, President, National Crusaders Alliance for Political and Economic Reforms, NCA, Local President, Ghana Leadership Union, GLU. I am a native of a Sium in the Eastern Region and Kubasi in Jabin of Ashanti Region. I co-founded Ghana National Party, GNP, and actively participated in Ghanaian politics during the 2008 general elections. I traveled extensively throughout the country from the south to all parts of the northern Ghana, campaigning for the presidency. I am therefore privy to the very poor and humiliating conditions most of our people live in the hinterlands. Those have driven my passion and continued desire to get to the mainstream politics to agitate for change, the way politics is perceived in Ghana. After extensive consultations with my family, friends, and the general public, I humbly declare my intentions to run for the office of the President of Ghana in 2020 as independent presidential candidate. Politics is a noble business for service to a nation. However, it is perceived in Ghana as an avenue to amass illegal and undeserved wealth. That impression is erroneous with me believing that wealth is not all about life, but good name and love for humanity. If I am lucky to have the opportunity as president of Ghana, I will reverse the misplaced phenomenon where politics overshadows those of science, technology, and teaching professions and reward them deservingly as pertains in the developed world. That will open the creative potentials of our best brains for scientific and technological researches for national development. We live in a shameful condition where the monthly salary of the parliamentarian is about three times that of the medical doctor university professor, and 10 times that of the graduate teacher and most other disciplines. Such a negative disparity will be corrected under my presidency and justifiably reward hard work in Ghana. I have witnessed Ghana politics since the 1960s till date and obviously the era of the Fourth Republic has been so much characterized by selfishness and personal aggrandizement of those elected or appointed into political offices. That is wrong, and there is the urgent, therefore, need for overwhelming support of the people to establish true democracy, political, economic, and administrative reforms in Ghana. Ghana has all it takes to develop a first world industrialized country. We are endowed with so much natural resources and, in, in, and intellectual capital, but our people live in abject poverty, disease, hunger, and deprivation. The basic underlying facts are as follows. One, our political leaders have mortgaged all our natural endowed resources 
to the multinational corporations for almost nothing. Two, NDC and MPP have sold all our industries and other capital assets for patents because they could not manage them. Three, they have sold almost all estates and prime lands to themselves for patents. How can leadership be so selfish and greedy? Four, the small change that comes into our national coffers has never been judiciously managed, and we are enslaved into billions of dollars of loans. Five, corruption is endemic in every corner of our society, and nobody seems to care. It is proven that over 70% of the national income pays salaries, allowances, and privileges of public and civil servants. A clear, irresponsible management of the national economy. How would a population of about 600,000 workers consume over 70% of the nation's total annual income? That is insanity and shows clearly that something is wrong with the system. Fellow Ghanaians, even though the two major political parties, NDC and NMPP, persistently accuses the other for serious economic mismanagement, corruption, and incompetence, we keep voting for them every four years. Ghana has chosen since 1992 to be governed under democratic principles, and I believe that is the best system of governance. However, if it is not guided by strong and effective institutions that holds officials of state to account, then it turns the nation to a chaotic breeding grounds for massive uncontrolled corruption, abuse of political power, and lawlessness. Those are the problems we now face in Ghana, and that is why we are where we are, where we are. 62 years after independence, so backwardly struggling for economic survival. The present neo-colonialist political class have used state funds to form political parties and entrenched themselves by deliberately creating artificial poverty on the people of Ghana. They have successfully established a class society of the very poor and vulnerable who they can buy their conscience during election. The essence of democracy is for the people to be able to exercise their voting rights without political influence. Again, the essence of democracy is for the people to be able to express their views of society freely without fear of political intimidations. Fellow Ghanaians, political sanity and freedom of expression can never be enjoyed under an NDC or NPP executive presidency. They see politics as the only means to wealth and a do or die event. Voting for NDC or NPP presidential candidate in 2020, therefore, will be the biggest mistake ever committed against Ghana, besides all the past military interventions. At this point, I appeal to every Ghanaian to ask himself or herself a simple question. What can I do for Ghana to move from third world to a first world industrialized country? A country where opportunities are endless and a country where the laws in our books will be enforced to protect lives and properties and also hold officials of state to account without ex exceptions. Your answer is simple. I will vote against NDC and MPP presidential candidates in election 2020 for a progressive and reinvented selfless governance. Nation building and development 
is not the construction of skyscrapers and flyovers. Even though they are a necessary part, the level of happiness of the people must be a prime concern, and that depends on the provision of the basic necessities of life that makes democracy meaningful. The NDC and MPP have for 27 years manipulated the people of Ghana on lies and failed promises from affordable housing, portable drinking water, abandoned road projects, modern health facilities, blame games year after year, compounding our problems with more and more Chinese loans. As I speak, the MPP government has collateralized a 50 billion US dollars Chinese agreement for the mining of our bauxite deposit for 100 years. This is absurd, a major political rot, and clearly shows that we are not up to ourselves. My fellow Ghanaians, because of the absence of a national development plan and the absence of political will to protect, prosecute, economic saboteurs, the nation has lost billions of dollars through fraud, judgment debts, and corruption. The review of the PNDC dictatorial 1992 constitution has also become a dilemma of the people of Ghana. I will know how to get that reviewed under my presidency. And Within the first six months in office, I will assemble local and global Ghanaian expertise to produce a 10-year national development plan, which will be reviewed every two years. Fellow Ghanaians, all the powers to develop Ghana under the 1992 constitution is vested under the presidency before it gets to the legislature. The presidency, therefore, requires wisdom and vision. These qualities are credentials not acquired in the classroom or in any textbook. It is God endowed, and I possess them. In order to subvert the winner-takes-all syndrome, I will encourage the people of Ghana to vote for any one of the independent presidential candidates with a message that stresses on the fundamentals of Ghana's economy, as opposed to the usual NDC and MPP political party candidates. They have proven they do not have ideas for nation, national development, other than borrowing to economically overburden today and generations on board. In order to accelerate our economic growth, we need a new kind of leadership that is modest, selfless, and has all it takes to make sound and strategic revolutionary decisions. I will encourage voters to vote for parliamentary candidates of choice and vote for me for the presidency. I will appoint the best 40 brains instead of the present 120, regardless of political party, for ministerial positions to achieve only the best to move Ghana away from economic slavery. And the era of big government will be over. Fellow Ghanaians, I have a dream. I have a dream that someday all Ghanaians shall be offered opportunities based on the content of their brains and not by which political party color they wear. That dream will, will replace the notoriously abused protocol system that offers opportunities in Ghana only by political party affiliations without merit. Fellow Ghanaians, 
I will only need one term in office as president to effect the needed reforms, and I will step down to direct the younger generations to continue. As a gesture of my selfless desire to change the dysfunctional system and leave a lasting legacy for generations of Ghanaians, I will render my first two years service as president for free if I am voted for the job. I repeat, I will serve Ghana for two years for free as president if I am voted for the job. My commitment to change Ghana and make history for myself, Ghana and Africa, is overwhelming and unequivocal. I am tired of hearing about corruption at the corridors of power every day. How long can we allow the NDC and MPP steal and fool us? Let us stop them from further loot and allow them to enjoy their stolen wealth. It is better late than never. If we will be ready to deny them the presidency, political and economic sanity will prevail forever in Ghana. Are we ready to reject the NDC and MPP usual vote buying strategies and vote for the future of our grandchildren? Above all, are we ready for a new direction of Ghana politics? If we are ready, then I am with humility submitting to us to deny the NDC and MPP the presidency in election 2020. And Ghana will be a million times better in all phases of our national development. In true democratic dispensation, devoid of hate and fear. In our individual two minutes covenants, where do we want to see Ghana in the next 10 years? Please make a commitment as you listen to this video the second time. Come on, fellow Ghanaians, come and let us all carry the burning torch of freedom spear and drive away the evil forces of neocolonialism and imperialism the last vestiges of colonialism that are hindering our progress and development. If others have done it, yes, we can and must also do it. Please share the video and volunteer and organize in all constituencies my concerns and aspirations for political and economic reforms. Contact me by email sampampo at gmail.com S-A-M-A-M-P-O-H at gmail.com WhatsApp 0200-421-544 or contact the secretary George Wilson at 0244-822-034. For further details and be part of the change process, we shall overcome. Thank you. God bless you all and God bless our homeland, Ghana. Ghana, 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 Ghana,